what I have here is an electronic candle lighter and there are some reasons why you might want to consider using one of these instead of a regular lighter or just an ordinary match but there are also some reasons why you might want to steer clear of these little devices but whichever way you decide this little thing is pretty cool now this is not a sponsored video in any way this is just something that I have been wanting to try for a long time and I finally just searched out and bought this one and there's a reason for that which I'll get into later but how this thing works is pretty simple uh, there is a battery an internal battery and it has a little slide lock here that you just slide up and once you do that you can hit the power button and once you hit the power button it creates a little plasma arc between the two little tips on the end and that will light whatever you're trying to light up. Now the one that I have here is from a company called, well, I don't know how to say that, USBOTO, and I really wouldn't recommend this one. It's uh, pretty cheaply made, it feels like. Now I bought this one for the price. There was a little coupon code on it, and so I ended up paying about 10 bucks for it. I think it's uh, normally about 12 or $13. Um, not real impressed with it. When I got it out of out of the packaging, I noticed that uh, the barrel here is made of aluminum, I think, and then the ends are chrome-plated plastic. And on this one, the chrome is not plated on the plastic very well, so there's a big section that is kind of coming loose, and uh, it's actually a little sharp uh, here in the handle part of it. Uh, not a big deal but uh, just makes you kind of wonder about the quality, the build quality of this. Another thing about the build quality of this is uh, it's a little bit lighter than you would expect it to be. And I would think that it would be a little bit heftier since it has an internal battery and some electronics in it, but it's pretty wispy and light. But ignoring the kind of iffy build quality with this, it operates pretty well. And I've had this about a month and a half. I've noticed that it seems to work just fine for me with everything that I have tried to use it for, although I am pretty much just using it for my propane cooktop. And for the sake of testing, I did try it out on my little candle lantern here just to see if it would handle lighting up a regular candle wick. And it did seem to do that pretty well most of the time. So to answer the question, why would I want to try out an electronic candle lighter instead of just using a regular lighter like this one this is the one i've been using for a couple of years now and it works reasonably well this one has a nice little uh feature where the little child lock is not obtrusive sometimes you have to press down on the child locks one way while you're pulling the trigger in the other direction my issue with this is the kind of awkward angle that you need to uh grasp this and pull the trigger i just find this to be not so easy especially first thing in the morning or when my hands are cold so even though i've been using this for a couple of years and i like it i like it because it's refillable and it doesn't have like i said that obtrusive child lock that some of them have it's still really hard to click for me at times and so lately i've been using this one this one's kind of a little jet engine, and I find that um, this one not only lights up much quicker and easier, but uh, I find clicking this with my thumb is usually easier than clicking this one on with my finger. It's just a little easier operation uh, for me. But that's where I think these electronic ones really are much better, and that's why I really wanted to try this is that on the cold mornings when my hands aren't really working so well, uh, this one takes no effort whatsoever for me to just light it up, hit the little button and light it up. The other thing is with these, and both of these are refillable, um, which is the reason why I bought them and have them. Uh, I've had both of these about a couple of years now. Uh, even though they're refillable, uh, sometimes it's a little bit hard to find butane to refill them. Uh, it took me quite a while to find the little bottle to refill these uh, when I had to. Uh, 
And those little refillable containers that you buy to refill these actually last quite a little while, but it's still something that you'd have to buy and uh, keep on hand. Uh, these do tend to run through butane quite quickly. So I kind of like the idea that I usually have plenty of solar power. So if I could just keep this one working, this electronic one working by just plugging it in to my solar and keeping it charged that way, uh, I kind of like that idea instead of having to go run to the store and buy more butane for one of the other ones. So things that I don't really care for about this, uh, it is the old style USB, which I really don't like. I prefer things to be USB-C. I just couldn't find one that had any kind of decent ratings online that was USB-C, and so I opted for this one. It does seem to hold a charge fairly well. Uh, I seem to need to charge it every week and a half or so, so that's pretty good. I use it quite a lot, several times a day, in fact. So it does seem to hold quite a bit of a charge. And then the last little thing is, this is obviously going to be a little bit dangerous to get your fingers next to the edge. Now, I haven't uh, burnt myself or electrified myself, but uh, apparently it's quite easy to do uh, if you get your fingers too close to the end uh, when you are using it, when you, when you have the little arc going. Um, the other thing is they tell you to keep the end away from metal. So when I am lighting my stove, I just am kind of cautious about where I put this uh, just so as not to uh, touch the little tips to anything metal. Um, like I said, I haven't had an issue with it yet, but it is something in the instructions that tell you to be cautious of. So yes, this is a silly little device to buy, but I'm actually very happy with it. Um, 10 bucks is not too bad of a price to uh, pay for this, uh, especially because now as the weather's getting a little bit colder, first thing in the, in the morning, I really don't like using uh, my old stick lighters. Uh, I have really been enjoying just the ease of use that this uh, is giving me to get my stove lit. Um, is it a worthwhile thing to buy? I don't know. Uh, Hopefully it'll last. Uh, I would say if you're going to look for one of these, stay away from this brand. I probably wouldn't buy another one from this brand. Uh, but I mean, if it holds up well, like I said, I've only had it about a month and a half. It's been working fine so far. And so I just don't have anything bad to say about it. But the kind of fit and finish of this brand, uh, at least this particular model from this brand, kind of leaves me uh, wondering just how long it'll last. But anyway, um, if you've got some kind of uh, dexterity issues like I do, uh, you might like an electronic lighter. And in any case, it is kind of a cool little gadget just to uh, play with. So, hey, thanks for watching. I really appreciate it.